What's up, raw babes? And today I'm giving you very much raw. Thought of that now, you already know this is gonna be a raw tutorial, so let's just jump right into it. So we have our beautiful model here today. She went to middle school, high school with me, so we had a lot to catch up on, especially that we're grown now, so many things is happening. So you guys are gonna see us talking throughout the video, but just focus on the makeup, y'all. This is gonna be a very raw tutorial. Y'all always ask me on my Instagram, Lachey, post more of your exotic glams that you post on your business page. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna show y'all how I get down. I'm gonna get back into the exotic and the different looks just to show you guys how to up up your craft a little bit more. We gotta get, you know, done with them naked beats, natural beats. We have to go back into 2016 where we was doing the beat downs, okay? So I just wanted to show you guys step by step. I hope you guys enjoy it. So the first thing you'll do is cleanse your client's skin. I cleanse it with Noxzema wipes. I feel like I prefer those. They hydrate the skin. Not only that, they help for any type of breakouts. I know a lot of you guys who are new to makeup, you see other makeup artists doing makeup. Yes, everyone has a different technique. This technique is my brow technique. I like to mattify the area of the brows just so it can be more easier for me to fill in with the eyebrow pencil. And I also like to go in with dual lash glue just to lay them eyebrow hairs down. You wanna make sure everything is set, long lasting, and that's why I love this format. And as you guys can see, it's so easy for me to just glide along. So I really want you guys to try this technique. One of my favorite pencils is the Chocolate Mousse Shade from Morphe. They have one of the best um, eyebrow pencils ever. I love them so much. And right now I'm going in with my M173 from um, Morphe. And I love this flat brush. Now, you guys have to mold the brush. A lot of brushes don't come as flat as this. Um, usually what people do is mold the brush with dual lash glue, let it get real sticky, and you use your thumb and one of your fingers just to smash it down and make it as flat as possible and let it dry. Now, if you want a tutorial on that, you guys can go to Kiki Adams' um, YouTube. I think she teaches you how to do it. But yeah, because a lot of people be like, Lachey, your flat brush is so flat. How do we get it like that? Because when you purchase the flat brush, it's not actually as flat as this. But yeah, I hope you guys get it just so you can get them crisp lines on point when it comes to the eyebrows. Also, today we use a light concealer. You have to make sure you're going in with at least two to three shades lighter than the original skin tone for the first concealer to carve out the bottom of your brows just to make it pop. Now the top of your brows, you'll be going in with the concealer shade that's at least the original skin tone. Or you can go in with your original foundation shade just so I can avoid a halo brow. So right now I'm just blending all that concealer out on her lids and make sure you go in with a full coverage concealer. Y'all already know my favorite full coverage, not expensive at all concealer is L'Oreal Infallible Wear Concealer, one of my favorites.
Now, if you are learning how to shape out your brows and it's kind of a struggle area, remember you guys, eyebrows was the first section of makeup that I practiced on. I wanted to get the eyebrows down pat and that was the first step of makeup that I feel like I achieved before I wanted to learn the rest of the form of makeup. So it's gonna take you some time, but just keep on trying. Today we're using the shade Honey and Toffee Caramel from the L'Oreal Infallible Wear Concealer for her eyebrows. Now it's time to set that concealer in place. You wanna set it just to avoid any creasing when it comes to the eyeshadow. For the eyeshadow, we went in with one color and it's a very pigmented and full coverage warm brown. We got that from the Morphe 8D palette. If you guys want to order this, that's the order on morphe.com or ota.com. These are my favorite bronzer palettes down to the blush, down to the contours. It just really show out for the dark skin girlies and that's why I love it so much. So right now I'm doing like a curved cat eye wing liner. And this is from the liner of NYX. You guys can go ahead. I love their liners. They have one of the best liners ever. It dries down real good. Very pigmented, very full coverage. Y'all go get that. Off camera, I did the other eye. Not only that, I popped on some lashes. Now, I was gonna leave this look just like this. But like I said, y'all keep telling me, go big or go home, Lachey. So, we had to do it big. So I'm going in with some red rhinestones. I was looking at her hair, and I don't know, I just saw all the, all the black she had on. I was like, oh, y'all gonna pop this out. So the rhinestones really amped this look up a 100 times more. This is, an, this is a example how you can amp up your looks. You don't have to always keep it simple. You can do a little pop without doing too much. And this ate down. So the rhinestones I went in with was from Amazon. I'll make sure that I put the um, link down below. Also, the glue you'll be using is the dual lash glue. Dual lash glue works for everything.
If you are a beginner to this technique, you have to take your time when it comes to the placement of the rhinestones, especially if you want it placed in the right direction. Now, if you see it placed the wrong way, you can also just get the rhinestone and pluck it off and just replace it with another rhinestone. It's always fixable when it comes to makeup. And also, you guys will notice that I'll be cleaning up the edge of the liner just so it can look precise. Y'all already know, but baddie, y'all had to go up with that Tasha Skin um, Dewy Skin Cream, and I love their products, okay? Tasha really shows through. I wanted to hydrate her skin, especially with using a lot of powders, creams, foundation. I wanted her skin to pop and be flawless all throughout the look. Also, we're going in to do the swatches of foundation. I love to do swatches just because I feel like it's um, buildable coverage. You want to be able to build up your coverage. You don't want to go straight in with using a little bit too much of foundation because your makeup is going to go downhill from there. So build up your foundation just so you can keep it safe. bring some heel back into her face and also to start off with the cream and the contour we use the elf cosmetics liquid blush in the shade orange and we also went in with the l'oreal fallible wear concealer in the shade espresso yes you can use concealer the only difference is the name okay they're all creams you can use it for the same thing if i find a foundation that was a good contour shade i would use that to contour her so when it comes to making things work you guys do not have to overthink makeup. There's no crazy rules to makeup. Now it's time to highlight the face. We went with the L'Oreal Infallible Wear Concealer in the shade Toffee Caramel. And we also went in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Deep Chestnut.
somebody in the comments from the last video was like, Lashek, I love your usage of powders. Y'all, I love setting the entire face. Now, the reason that I came up with that technique to just say, you know, forget it. Let me just set the entire face because I just feel like it makes the face look so flawless and filtered. So if you want this type of filtered, flawless look, follow every single step of this technique, okay? You guys are gonna get it, okay? I used to look at my throwback videos and y'all know Lashay hate a too dewy face. Some areas of the face was a little bit too dewy for me. And y'all know I love a long lasting base. I love a matte look. So setting the entire face just, it goes all the way for me. So we set the bright areas with translucent powder. And also we set the remaining of the entire face with a banana shade powder that will complement her original skin tone. Now it's time to set those bronzers. I'm going in with the bronzer from Morphe in the shade Trailblazer. Also for the blush, I went in with the shade Papaya from ColourPop. Camera. I went in with more of a simple black liner. I went in with the Inglock Gel Liner. You guys can get it from Amazon. One of the most pigment blacks ever. And I also began to do the baking process on her face. I snatch up those cheekbones and I snatch up that nose. I want to get her the Michael Jackson nose. You feel me? Now it's time to go on with the lip combo, which which is one of my favorites. Now, this lip combo may be new to some, but y'all know Lashay always figuring out something. So I love this pigment of using a cream contour. So I went in with the L'Oreal Infallible Wear Concealer in the shade Espresso. And that's what you guys will see me using with the flat brush to line up her lips. And then you guys will see me going with another angle brush to set that concealer. So I set it with a bronzer that complements the color of a brown, a dark brown liner just so it can be long lasting. And I tried this technique on one of my loyal clients and then when she told me it stayed on all night, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be my technique forever. So you will set that concealer, okay? And then that's when you'll start your lip combo. So the lip combo is from Maybelline. This is like a liquid um, pinkish nude. Then to make that center a little bit more lighter, you guys can go up to your own type of preference. If you feel like it's a little bit too light or whatever, I like an ombre lip and I did want a more lighter lip for her. So I wanted that bubblegum Barbie type of lip. So I went in with a concealer shade in the middle of her ombre lip, which is like a white concealer shade, just to make it blend and pop. Then you will pop on your hair store gloss by Broadway, which is one of my favorites. And that's my lip combo.
The powders we used today for this look was from One Size trans Translucent Powder and also Sasha Buttercup in the shade Banana. And she was feeling herself so much, y'all. She was blowing up her phone with TikToks. Her phone ID couldn't even recognize her. So it took her into the next day to take off her makeup for her to send me some videos. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so crazy. So right now, we're taking away the baking process. I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix Press Powder in the shade NW45. So this one pressed powder should match her original skin tone just to give that filter look and make everything come together. It will blend away the flashback lines. It will help with flashback. And also, if you have any harsh lines, that's the reason of using a pressed powder. Now, underneath her eyes or in the bright areas where we use concealer, you're going with another pressed powder that complements that concealer shade. So you want that bright area to remain bright, smooth, and filtered. You're going in with the MAC Studio Fix Press Powder in the shade NC55. Now, I spray my clients down three times, actually. So two times with the Morphe, um, I let it dry, then I spray it again, and then that's when I go in with my one size. If you want your client face to last a long time, go in with one size. When they go to the Rod Wave concert, any type of fair or carnival down here in Miami, most definitely one size is your best friend. Y'all saw Beyonce use it, y'all saw Rihanna use it when they was uh, performing. It really makes your face lock in. Right now, I'm going in with some highlighter. We're going with the Urban Decay in the shade Cowboy. And also, it's time for mascara. Now, I had a troll in the last video when I was giving you guys advice on how to keep your clients calm when it comes to watery eyes. So, the troll was like, you know, I don't want to address trolls because y'all know raw babies don't play about me. But I just wanted to say, how you work is not how other people work. Sometimes you can't give your advice if you're on two different levels of somebody else. Like, you know how some people always have something to say about a person that's talented and you know, work how they work and they're comfortable with their type of skill. Then you go on their page, they don't even know how to draw a line straight. They don't even know how to color. So that just gives you the type of push as a makeup artist. Do not listen to people who can't even compare. Do not listen to people that can't even give you a good, valid advice, okay? How I work with my clients and my celebrities is how I work. I feel like it's the best for me. If you guys feel like you guys work a different way when it comes to the clients getting watery eyes, kudos to you. But my girls, they don't water as much when I control them, when I tell them to calm down, when I have the Q-tip, and I make them feel relaxed. They do not tear as much. So shout out to the trolls, y'all. Y'all have to love them. If you have a troll, if you have, have a hater, you doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay? And like I said, however you do your business, stick to it. Do not let nobody bring you down or tell you about your own business that makes you comfortable and grows your clientele. Your pockets proves a lot, okay? Period. But your girls from Miami, we did this beat down. If you guys want to come to Miami, learn some one-on-one -on -one classes, book an appointment with a Shay, come down here with a goat. Y'all, this beat was so pretty, so raw. Y'all know we had to take a video in the dark. She looks so gorgeous. Eight down, okay? I love you guys so much for supporting me. Y'all see me coming out back to back a week now. With these videos, I got more for you guys. Comment down below if you like this video, what you like about this video, what you learned. Hit that notification bell so you can be the first to see whenever Lashay Glam's post. I love you guys so much. For the new Rob Babes, welcome to the family. This is the page where you'll learn all the gems. Tell a friend and tell a friend that we get down over here. Make sure you guys subscribe. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.